As you can see, I'm currently surrounded by a series of cones and markers. And it just so happens that the markers that I've laid out lay out the actual dimensions of the tennis courts, or more specifically, the space between the baseline and the service line. If you're like me and you don't have access to a tennis court at the moment, then you can quite simply mark the area out that we're going to use for these agility-based intervals. The grid itself is 8.2 meters by 5.5 meters. Now, if you don't have access to any form of, of tape measure or meter rule, then you can quite simply mark it out with steps. It's not as accurate, but it's gonna be close enough for what we're trying to do here. For me, taking relatively small to average steps, this width here is going to be around about seven steps, whereas the represented baseline behind me is currently 11 steps. The reverse V-drill wide is almost identical to the conventional wide V-drill, only this time I've put my running markers behind the baseline. I've placed them two and a half meters behind the baseline to be specific, but again, if you don't have access to some form of meter rule, then I took roughly four steps backwards. Similar to the conventional V-drills, I'm gonna start at the center marker on the baseline facing the net. I'm going to initiate the movement with a crossover step again because it's a wide change of direction. I'm gonna initiate with a wide crossover step followed by a shuffle. Remember the marker is over behind me to my left. So I'm gonna initiate with a crossover, shuffle, lunge and touch, crossover, shuffle and back. I have to come back to the center marker every single time. With this one, I want you either on the marker or slightly in front. The second repetition of course is now gonna to be to the right. So once again, we initiate the movement with a crossover, shuffle, lunge and touch, crossover, shuffle, and back to the center marker again. 